I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Brother Hosanna David. Welcome to Ingul Ayupuna. I want to share with us a message that I got from the Lord and it is very, very important. On the 3rd of May 2021, I was studying the book of Hebrews and I was specifically reading Hebrews chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 and then I heard this from the Lord. I was sleeping off. You know there is difference between uh, just reading the Bible and studying and meditating on the Word of God. So I was actually studying and meditating on the Word of God. So I, I was reading and studying it, reading slowly. I was sleeping off and then I heard the Holy Spirit say, any attack on this is a direct attack on the finished work of Jesus Christ. What is meant by these here is this. Let me read the Hebrews chapter 6 verses 1 and 2. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. So, what it is saying, what this passage is saying is that there are doctrines of Christ. Uh, I mean, there are principle, there are principles of the doctrine of Christ. In this passage, we have six principles. And the Holy Spirit said any attack on these is an attack on the finished work of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ died for men and completed the work of salvation. All we need to is accept his death on the cross and his finished work and live according to the life of the kingdom. That's all we need to do. And accepting this is repentance. We need to repent from dead works. So, number one here is repentance from dead works, which every child of God must do. Some people no longer talk about repentance. They replace repentance with a very suitable word that people don't actually find offensive, which is accept Jesus Christ. Would you accept Jesus into your heart? A very simple question. Yeah, how do I do it? Okay, just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I give you my life. But it is more than that. Repentance is turning away from your evil ways, from your wicked ways. And just imagine telling people that repent of your sins. Stop committing adultery. Stop committing abortion. Repent from your evil ways. Wicked and evil generation. Turn from your ways and be saved. Imagine telling people like that. People would say you are judging them. Uh, so, a very simple way of presenting the gospel to people so that people will not find it offensive is, would you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? He has died for all your sins. He has blotted out all your iniquities. Just say this prayer after me. And immediately they said this prayer they said congratulations this tell the people congratulations you are now born again you are filled with the holy spirit and you are now a child of the kingdom do not be deceived god is not mocked now let's look at the second one and of faith toward god we must have faith in god for everyone that comes to god must believe that he exists 
we must believe that he exists and also have faith in him that the finished work of Jesus of the of salvation had been completed by Jesus Christ so we must have faith then doctrine of baptism we must be baptized some people now say oh there is no need to get baptized again Jesus Christ uh, saved the criminal on the cross because uh, he, he wasn't baptized he even promised him that today you will be with me in paradise and they forgot the commandment of the Lord that we should make disciples of all nations and baptize those who believe. Baptism is very, very important. Nothing can change that. I'm going to leave some links be below so that you can learn more about baptism. I'm not going to dwell on that. But I want to quickly add that the criminal on the cross had no opportunity to get baptized if he had gotten the opportunity he would have been baptized if you have given your life to christ or you want to give your life to christ but after doing that you fail to get baptized when you have the opportunity the lord jesus christ is going to ask you why you disobey him because it is command even here paul writing to the hebrews he still mentioned baptism, which means it is very, very important. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. Then also, laying on of hands. Laying on of hands. We lay hands on people uh, to receive the Holy Spirit. And also, uh, when they are sick, will lay hands on the sick too. Then also, and of resurrection of the dead, we believe that every child of God that does right is sealed with the Holy Spirit. And on the day Jesus Christ is going to return, we will resurrect. So there is the resurrection of the dead, including those who lived in sin who did the work of unrighteousness they are going to resurrect too and after the judgment they will we go to eternal destruction those who believe in christ those who did well who are saved we go to eternal life to enjoy eternal life in heaven and then eternal eternal judgment there is going to be judgment on the last day there is going to be judgment so let us not deceive ourselves let's not listen to people who preach heresy there is a a, a sister sent me a link of a post on facebook and i was shocked to see that one who calls himself a man of God was teaching people that there is no need to confess sin anymore, that all you just need to do is confess Jesus Christ. I went to the comment section. Thank God for some believers who were telling him to his face that he is preaching heresy. But some gullible people who are tossed to and fro, up and down, by every wave of doctrine. Then we are saying, yes, we only need to confess Jesus Christ. We don't need to confess our sins. Our sins have been taken away by the Lord. Why should we confess them? So why are you saying you are a new creature if you do not expose the works of darkness? Please do not be deceived. Any attack on the fundamental principles of the doctrine of Christ is an attack on the finished work of Christ. Let us not listen to false teachers. Recently, I was listening to a man of God. There was a topic on, I saw him answering a question on, and I wanted to listen to him. And the Holy Spirit was telling me, stop, list, don't watch this video. Don't, it was very, very loud. Don't watch this video. Don't listen to him. Don't watch this video. Don't. And I just finished watching one. And he was saying, don't watch it. This is someone I know to be a false teacher. 
He is not a true man of God. He performs miracles. He has millions of followers all over the world. He does miracles and does teachings and people listen to him. But I tell you the truth, the voice of the Holy Spirit was so strong. Another time I saw the same video, but I had to obey the Holy Spirit. Please do not listen to false teachers. Whatsoever thing you feed yourself with, that is what you are going to be in the nearest future. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Don't let anybody take away your crown. Remember that the biggest, the, the biggest weapon in the end time is deception, false doctrine. A lot of people are going to be deceived. Don't let anybody deceive you. This Bible, the doctrine of this Bible is enough for your salvation. Don't go to look for other uh, extra biblical books to read, to add to this Bible. Except maybe for the purpose of research, you want to read, just have a little uh, background of what actually happened. Please, the word of God in this book. This Holy Scripture is enough for our salvation. Do not add to it. Do not remove from it. Don't let anybody deceive you. There are lots of people who need your money and they want to tell you what you want to hear. Please don't allow anybody to feed you with what you want to hear. But listen to what the Holy Spirit wants you to hear. And I tell you the truth, the Holy Spirit will see you through to make the kingdom. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section or you can email me on hosannadevib at ymail.com or on info at igudayopuna.com. Visit our website igudayopuna.com, biblicalsexualpurity.com and to download my messages, mp3 messages, visit hosannadevib.com. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.